Hey guys, um, today we're gonna <clears throat> talk about something else. I, you know, I bombard you with all these recipes, but we forget to uh, talk about very important things. Um, I wanted to share my experience about how I discovered that I have cancer and what were the possible uh, signs of um, developing cancer. And um, I want to show you how to do a, um, a breast exam as well. <clears throat> so first I'm going to start with uh, uh, the exam that you want to do monthly. It's very important that you check yourself. That's how I found my cancer. Um, not doctors, not you know anything, but I checked myself and I found a bump. Uh, the best way to do it is to lay flat and put your hand up so your breast is as flat as you know can be uh, once you do that then you want to start gently touching area around your breast so you want to go through all that like soft tissue and feel for any type of bumps okay also press gently the nipple as well and see if there's any changes there too. Um, you also want to touch your lymph nodes and as I said you want to do gently and see if there's any bumps there as well. Okay and you want to do that once a month just to be you know certain that there is no you know changes and stuff and you can track yourself you need to know your body so that's very important. Um, another thing too, you want to look for skin changes, uh, you know, like look on your skin, like for example, what happened to me and I remember like it was yesterday, I was in the office and I was sitting at my computer and it was summertime and it was like a month and a half before I got diagnosed and I looked at my arm and all of a sudden I had all these red little dots, like little moles all of a sudden and I looked and I said oh my god what is this and the girls at the reception they were like what's going on man and I was like I don't know all of a sudden I got all these red dots on my left arm you know I'm not sure what's going on um and they're like wow you know all of a sudden I said yeah all of a sudden and they're like were you in the sun I said you know I do live by the beach we go to the beach but when we go we sit in the shade we have a little baby so no not really and they're like you know maybe you're lacking of vitamins and i joked and i said or maybe i'm dying from some deadly disease and i just don't know ha 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 a month and a half later yeah i got diagnosed with breast cancer <clears throat> and then i also noticed a couple of times i had sharp pain you know like when I was in the office uh, you know like you want to hole punch a bunch of paper when you have to put it in a folder and stuff and I was like yeah you're lazy to do like 10 by 10 so I took like a bunch and I put it in a hole punch and I pressed it hard and it didn't go and I was like ah got up and I was like Phew! pressed it real hard and I hole punched it of course but I felt sharp pain I was like oh I felt sharp pain in my breast you know I'm out of shape I need to exercise. No, I don't think that's what it was. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, so those are, you know, just kind of like the signs. Um, but, um, you know, obviously a bump, you know, under the armpit in your vest, it's already a sign that you have it. Um, now, you know, <clears throat> also there are some physical changes that I noticed. And now, you know, when I think about them, I want to share it with you. Um, I uh, did gain a lot of weight. I just uh, had a baby and um, I gained a lot of weight around my stomach especially um, and that's also increased uh, chances of getting breast cancer. Now they do the research and um, uh, they found that out. Um, I was not able to breastfeed. Mm -mm, nothing was coming out. Not a not a drop from the left breast where I have cancer. Not a drop. Uh, my nails were in such a poor condition that I couldn't keep them without paint. No, 
they look horrible like when i would take the you know the nail polish off they look horrible and then i also had this weird body heat like i was always sweating but my hands and my uh, um, toes were freezing like my um, yeah my feet uh, so that's what I noticed as well. I also noticed that I had um, started to get yeast infections and um, there was, you know, like white coming out from my throat and there was white coming out from, you know, the woman's area as well. And I had a lot of sugar cravings. I remember that because every other day on my way to work, I would stop by to get, you know, like a bunch of donuts, not for only for me, but you know, for the whole office. But, you know, of course, I would have it too. You know, I was like that crazy guy from uh, Dexter's show. <laughs> I'll bring donuts <laughs> every other day. But, um, and then I also noticed some psychological changes too. I'm sorry, I took some notes, so that's where I'm looking at. Um, I noticed that, you know, I was always a very positive person, full of energy, you know, all everything great. I started getting some dark thoughts you know some negativity uh you know sudden mood swings you know anxiety thinking something bad about people you know like oh uh, some somebody wants to do something bad to me and that kind of stuff you know and i know i remember that i was like what's going on with me i'm not this type of person you know so you know that that's something that i noticed as well now during the course of years you know and after i did a lot of research um you know your body actually sends you signs that there's something wrong you know because cancer doesn't just come overnight it builds for 10 years it takes it for it to manifest um as you know a lump but uh you have cancer cells we all have cancer cells so our body immune system either kills it or is not able to kill it and then it grows and it creates tumors so over the course of years i had bad coughs like i would cough 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 the doctors didn't know why they they were giving me like the the spray for uh you know for um allergies and asthma one doctor told me i have asthma I was like no i don't have asthma uh but um anyway so bad cough that i couldn't get rid of I had kidney stones, which later I found out that's one of the common um, also things that happen when your body's trying to get rid of stuff, the toxins that you keep on putting inside you, um, constant change in weight, you know, I would gain weight, I would lose weight, I would gain weight again and lose weight and that kind of stuff. So, um, and then of course, benign tumors. I also had a benign tumor in my left breast. Uh, a couple of years before I have it removed and then uh, you know a couple of years later guess what I have breast cancer right in that spot so and honestly you know everything has to do with what you're eating how you're living what your thoughts are I was always a positive person so you know probably that's why it took a long time for it to you know develop but you know I ate poorly I ate in restaurants, I was fancy, girl, girl, you know, town girl, I didn't go to fresh air and villages and, you know, outside of the city, you know, I was just, you know, eating in fancy restaurants, fast food, whatever, you know, but I didn't have time to cook because I was so busy working and going out and that kind of stuff. Uh, but I also wanted, uh, you know, a couple of more minutes. I don't want to keep you too long, but um, another I wanted to discuss um, about possible triggers. So, you know, like it builds, builds, builds over the years and then what could possibly trigger it? Um, main thing that a lot of research showed, um, especially, you know, in women, because I mean, some men get breast cancer, 2%, but, you know, women, one every eight women gets it. Uh, so a possible trigger is um, death of a loved one and my dad died from colon cancer and it was you know it was very heartbreaking and you know it's it's not you know something that anybody wants to go through um, but you know you, I didn't deal with my emotion I was just like oh you know it's okay you know move on and everything is great you know it's you know I didn't deal with the sadness deal with the sadness cry if you need to cry do whatever you need to do 
but you know deal with your emotions don't keep on burying them that's the worst you can do worst thing uh, pregnancy because of the hormones so you know I did uh, get diagnosed nine months after I delivered uh, my baby I remember it was her nine month checkup in the morning and uh, in the afternoon that day they told me I have breast cancer and uh, so you know that can also trigger it as well because of the hormones and um, you know one another thing is not being happy with your life not being in a you know like in a good relationship or not having the right job or not being who you are so that's very important for you to uh, be aware of you know you need to be happy and the only way you're gonna be happy is by changing your thoughts okay you are the owner of your thoughts you are the owner of your life you change your thoughts you change your life and that's the only way to go no other way is the right way believe me every morning I wake up I think about what I'm gonna do that day how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna have all this energy I'm gonna feel good I'm gonna do this okay and that's what you need to do you just need to tell yourself that and have faith have faith in God he's there for us okay pray to God he's listening he's a very good listener I pray every night and uh, and it's really it's it's really an amazing thing um, the the power of prayer it's, it's, it's amazing so you know I hope you get all these um, you know together and then you get some uh, helpful information uh, if you have any questions you know shoot out to me and um, and you know have a beautiful beautiful day enjoy your life love you guys bye